Flowhow, sales of Molex 3D and consultancy, specialists in injection molding simulations. Hello, Matthias Persson from Flowhow. In this video, I will give you a short introduction to the Moldex uh, viewer. The Moldex viewer is a free software from uh, Moldex <clears throat> where it's possible to uh, install it to a computer and then look at results uh, directly as you, if you are using a Moldex project. In this case, uh, I'll start out with uh, exporting um, a, a result file and a RSV file for the viewer. That's uh, how to do it in uh, Moldex 3D. I start out, uh, I have a couple of runs here and then I go into file. I want to create a RSV file save and then save as rsv file then i get up a picture like this and um, i have the possibilities now now i'm in run six and then i say okay what do what which results um am i interested in that uh, the ones that uh, have to read uh, get the results from me and from my simulations, uh, which results are they interested in? There's a bunch of results, uh, but uh, not every result is interesting in every case. So uh, it, th this is a way to pick out the most interesting and uh, important uh, results. In this case, it could be uh, filling and under filling, I could go in and say melt front, air traps, weld lines. There could be something about melt front temperature. Uh, let's say it's that's the results. Um, then uh, I could go down to warpage, for example. Let's say which results. Displacement, yes, thermal displacement, volumetric shrinkage, differentiated shrinkage, thermal stresses. No, we're not interested in this time. Okay. Now I've chosen from one run. I can then I can just go to another run and say okay, run four. I want some uh, filling and uh, it could be the mill front, the air trap and the well line. And then I push save. Yes, in this case I have done, made one and I'll just make one more. It will overwrite the old one. And then it will export the data for to an R3 file. So done. I'll close this uh, window. <clears throat> and uh, of course I can look at all results in the project here. Um, I could also make make some uh, AVI files and pictures and send out a conclusion. But uh, supporting this uh, conclusion and some pictures it's always nice to be able to turn the part around and look at the uh, more detail for for example air traps and so so on i'll leave this uh, molex and then i'll try to then i'll open the viewer in this case i choose a viewer release 14 and then I have to open this uh, viewer, that's the free, and you can download the viewer either going to uh, Moldex homepage on the products viewer and uh, download. 
that's one way or you can contact the flow how and then we'll provide you with a link to a viewer directly <clears throat> but uh, back to this case i'll go into uh, to the c drive there moldex working folder this one is well line and then the rsv file is at the root of the project well line rsv i open it and now i have a over here it was run four run six that i exported results from i could go into run four here and go into the filling <clears throat> And there's a milk front time. It's the filling pattern. I'll normally take this tool tip on so it's possible to drag your mouse over the buttons and it will give you some information about what's, uh, what's happening with the bottle buttons if i go to animation here um then i uh, have the possibilities of uh, playing a video of the filling like this and i can pause it i can uh, scroll by moving this back and forth holding down my left mouse. There's some possibilities over here. Fit to window, zoom window, step forward down here, duk, 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 in small steps. And by clicking right the mouse button and holding it down and moving the mouse up and down, you can turn it around you can zoom in and out by scroll the middle the scroll button and you can pan by keeping shift down and right uh, mouse button then you can pan back and forth it's also supported by a uh, space mouse yes If we go over to filling, yeah, the warpage results. <clears throat> if we look at the warpage, uh, no interest of the runner, melt entrance. There's this bottom deformation settings. Uh, oops, uh, total displacement, and then I take. Uh, deformation settings then i can give it a scale factor here um it uh, says 10 now i can change it to let's say 20 apply and then i have the possibilities on this scroll button to scale the deformation of the plate 100 percent up here means that I have a factor of 20 uh, scale. So um, this is uh, how it works. And I can choose different set of uh, terminal displacement, for example. And then I can see what's the results of a thermal displacement. How much is the, the of the warpage is uh, is uh, from the thermal effects in the molds. This is some of the possibilities. Um, look at the weld line, melt front again, and then I have a if we go to run four. 
then I have a then filling. I can use this wheel down here, this animation, but I can also uh, clip clip in the in this uh, uh, clip in it and uh, x y x direction there's nothing on a mail front uh, uh, time is not very interesting but then there's a lot of possibilities inside here the wheel to clip it in different directions now i clipped it in two i'll just do like this switch it off slicing the same way you have the the slicing function and then you can slide it up in different uh, in different uh, um, slices and isosurfaces then there's a slider over here where you can move it back and forth to highlight the different uh, isosurfaces. It not, it's not that interesting when it's a, a mill front time, but if it's temperature or, or melting core or some other results, it's more interesting. But it's uh, quite easy to find out how it works. You can switch on um, things up here. Uh, but uh, if any questions, uh, uh, please contact uh, Flowhow. Thank you uh, for watching this video and uh, have a nice uh, day.